Hey, what's going on guys? I am back with another quick video. Apologies for not posting for quite a while. I've been at college and filming there is kind of difficult and I didn't really have my computer that would work. Actually, that's a lie. I did the one that I edit on, but um, kind of difficult to find time. Really, you know, bad lighting and I have a roommate, so it's all makes it all kind of messy to try and film a video. And also, I don't have my full collection of books, but today I'm doing a quick you know, just fun thing over the Tiger's Curse series by Colleen Hill. How? Goodness, I can never pronounce her last name, and apologies if she sees this, which is a quite a possibility. Um, this was one of the first series that I ever loved. You'll find a link in the description, and I'll try and post it somewhere on the video screen if I can figure out how to be that technologically advanced, um, that I read and loved. Um, I read Tiger's Curse because it came as an ARC, as you can see, it is like that little, you know, advanced reader copy. Um, I got it from my libraries in ARNC, and I, I probably would have found it anyway, because these covers, I mean, look at these covers, they are beautiful, look like at the shine, when the light moves on it, they all have that kind of shine, beautiful, Oh, I love them. Um, I would pick them up probably, but I love this book, it's about tigers, it's about romance, it's about traveling, it's about India, and I never really had an interest in India until I read these books, and I'm just kind of like, what, I want to go. The book covers are beautiful, but I'm pretty much going to talk a little bit about the books, and also about my ownership of the books and just a little pet peeve kind of thing. First of all, can we just notice these covers? Look at this. I'm, and I'm uh, I'm doing a complete film thing you're not supposed to where I put the lighting in a really bad location. But it's because, uh, besides the fact that I, I'm having lighting issues, it really shows these covers. Look at how they've placed it. Like, the eyes shine. Oh, that's a cool shot if you don't mind me saying so, but you see the dragon shines? This one, it's not as much, because these, um, this, this one here, and this one are hard covers. These two are not, um, Tiger's Quest and Tiger's Quest are not. However, this is the ARC, so it's a little bit, uh, got, like, more of a shine on it. This one's, um, a little bit more of a matte kind of look to it. And then there's this one as well, which I love it. And Phoenix, like, how cool is that? I've never seen a book like this. Look at these layers. And then when you open the book, there's maps inside and it's got the shine as well. And then like a chapter. Get that like, I mean, these books are beautiful how they're set up. I, I can't go over them and I never have. I mean, when I see these four books, even their spines are beautiful. When I see these, um, oh wow. Wow, I had a complete Moment, guys. I put the books in the wrong order. All right, let's quickly fix that. Wow. After all these years of reading it, you would have thought I'd figure it out, but who knows? Um, so yeah, ignoring my complete stupidity. Three of these books are by Splinter, of the um, publishing house. This one is Sterling, but it's the ARC, um, as you can see. I mean, I love these books. Don't get me wrong. Besides the fact that I completely blundered on the order, which was my stupidity, um, I. I love reading these. These are books that are easy. You just pick them up. There's a storyline. There's something always good going on. And they are YA, so it's not like erotic romance, nothing like that. This is YA romance. So it's the cute, fluffy stuff from like high school, and it makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. And I just love it because it's so cute. It's just something nice you need in the world right now. And it's just, yeah, I'm gushing, but I love it. So besides me gushing over these books, and you can find my reviews of them on my blog, I will post them in the description down below. My thing I want to talk about is the fact, the, I, the whole thing where you own a book series and you're missing a book, or you own multiples of a book, that was my problem with the series. So not only was I missing one of the books, that one, I just purchased it like two and a half weeks ago because I... I've had this series on my shelf for like two plus years and I've never gotten the second book in the series. I borrowed from my library and it really, really, it really, really annoyed me. I had two of the third book. Both hardcovers, one was a gift. One I bought, actually no, there's a lie. One I bought, one I was given as a gift by um, Colleen a, as a gift for her interview, which I did with her, which will also be linked below. I had two of the fourth book. This is an ARC I received from my library, from my wonderful librarian from quite a few years ago. It's an ARC again, um, with the plain cover. The cover hadn't been released, so I got this a long time ago. Um, and then I had to buy this one because the cover, I just, I couldn't not buy it. So, yeah, so I owned, th th this is the books. 
excluding this one. I didn't have this one. I had one, three, and five. Wonderful. Great. Great. I had to get two. But have you ever had that problem where you have a book and you just are missing a book in the series? It really bugs me. I mean, it's one thing if you have, you know, one book of a series, like the first book. Or like one of those side books, those like novella kind of things, like the Millie Sing series. But I had the first book, two of the third and two of the fourth. I had no second book. It bothered the hell out of me. It had been sitting there. Like they're not expensive books. They're only um $9.95. Not terribly expensive books at all. Even the hardcover. Let's see. Uh, hardcover is not in here. Oh, there you go. That's a bit more expensive. $17.95. But I mean, they were here. I, I had half of them, and I was missing one of them. It wasn't even like I was missing the last or the first, which would have been just as bad. But I was missing them in the book. I, I, ugh, bothers me. But anyway, that's enough for my rant for today. That's just my quick little thing. Um, so my question is, have you guys had that type of problem before? You know, had a book, missing book series, does it bother you? Does it not? Do you care? What do you think these covers? I cannot get over them. They're so pretty. Um, probably have to get rid of one of these one day. So maybe if someone possibly wants it, I could maybe do a giveaway eventually. Just because, I mean, it is the third book in the series, but like maybe someone's going through the same problem I am. I don't know. I got my little uh, yellow and orange color theme going on because Thanksgiving is in a couple days. So happy Thanksgiving to all my viewers. And enjoy. Eat lots of food. Get fat and relax and enjoy. Read a couple books. Put your feet up. Have a great one. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!